hello everyone welcome to the channel trust you are doing good so in today's video we'll be making okwa okwa is african breakfast it's in a class of its own okay i was not actually sure where to put it but you know i settled with a kind of a bean section because breakfast seeds are most similar to beans it is known as okwa in Igbo land where i come from but the scientific name is trecolia africana very very easy to make just you know thoroughly wash it because it tends to have um sand in it because of the way it was processed and when you're adding water to the pot to cook it make sure that the water is enough to cover the okwa the level of water should be about one inch above the level of the okwa then you add your edible potash you know if you're using a uh, pressure cooker you add all your ingredients you could use dry fish stock fish or put your pepper your crayfish salt uh ogiri I call it my neighbor disturber and whatever it is you want to use but just keep it simple these are the ingredients that's what you see here i'm using stock fish or giri bitter leaf is not so bitter uh habanero pepper scotch bonnet pepper whatever i'm adding the bitter leaf now because it's a little still fresh i need it to cook more i added it when the ukwa was at least halfway done and also i add my stock fish now if you're using dry fish you don't have to add it now you can add it later but i'm adding my stock fish now because it's still a little on the hard side so i allowed it to cook again like 10 minutes per se and when it's actually done um i'm gonna add every other ingredient i forgot to show you prior you're gonna be needing palm oil just to color it and give it that beautiful yellow color so right now i'm adding my scotch bonnet and every other ingredient i'm gonna be using you can add salt if you want here i'm adding just a little salt because of the ogiri and the um, stock cube that I'm using. Or, you know, just adjust your seasoning the way you like. Like I said, keep it simple. It doesn't need much. It has its own natural flavor that is so amazing, okay? So now you put everything together, give it a quick stir, and then allow it to cook again for probably six to seven minutes. You see how soft that is looking already? Now, when it's done, simple you just go ahead and enjoy yourself and here you go okay i hope you like this video i'm going to allow you to go ahead and watch please if you haven't subscribed kindly subscribe to this channel and please like the videos it does help the youtube algorithm to push out the video please please i beg you thank you so much and i do hope to see you on my next video wherever you are stay safe and keep cooking ciao